Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Crown. Well, not Monster Crown, uh, Monster Story. I knew I was going to mess it up one of these days. <laughs> I haven't played Monster Crown in a while, actually I've lost my save game. I was planning on streaming it this weekend, but I lost my save game, so I'm trying to get that back before I play it, so I might even stream this. I'm not sure yet. But I have been looking forward to getting back into this. I've been able to play it in a good few days since... My last recording. So I'm looking forward to being able to play it again. What's my healer gonna be? I think it was like this. Right, nice people. There we go. So this team is good for stuff here. Just beating the crap out of all my enemies. Definitely exploiting weaknesses a lot right now. For a party, that can be good with you too. I only assume that you just get somebody that just lets you just straight up fly one day. I'd like a triple jump or something. Some of these things, I have no clue how I'd be able to get up there to them. Place. 
That place was nightmarish. I couldn't get through. I was right about one thing. This not the right way to go. I'm glad I went here first. Let's get that exploring out of the way. Quite a bit of parkour in it. Interesting to see actually with the water. I don't particularly have anybody who can do water damage that I can think of besides for lichen. Strong against grass. confident we're just focusing on the bad guy. It's five hits. Five hits. Both of these do do more damage, but it has one more hit and two more hits. It means that you'll be better off with your combo. Now we all focus on them one this way. I'll wait for your power to get back up. Good for you to get your power back up, because then you can get your ice spheres on them. I 
toxins is really nice. You might as well use gold since never hurt to get too much gold. It's kind of something that's better to take earlier rather than later, anyways. Well, gold hasn't been a big issue. I prefer to keep it that way. I can continue to be not a big issue. Alright. Ooh, there's those cool little snails. Store to get all this nasty and pumped by buddy. Then you just tap the guy in the back. It's protecting him, so. He can do what he wants, but it's not gonna save him. Slash. We did it for the bleed. And we can have to bounce back. Alright, we actually have some people taking some genuine damage now, which isn't good. Do another master storage just to get that debuff off of you. Break that protect off of him. Oh, we got a burn on him. Just doing some attacks in the background. An ice spear volley. Easy compared to my new check record. Pretty sure this is a breakable wall. Break through again? Very 
interesting little setup we got going on over here. Ooh, this we found somebody. Oh, hello there. You came just right time to assist me in an experiment to scientific breakthrough of unparalleled proportions. Oh, forgive me. I forgot to introduce myself. Lady Stasis, the leading scholar in the monster science. Also, specializing in cryomancy. You'll see both these things are relevant to the experiment. I may mean, to get that get that answer. Have you heard of the monster species known as Shockhopper? I don't think so. Of course not. I don't know species have been extinct for more than 400 years. Anyway, it was my parents who moved to rear and do Shockhoppers to the world. All I've had to do is send all the possible genetic relative shock hoppers to many experiments I've managed to do so. The only problem is that all I have of that other monster is, is a couple feathers. Do you understand my conundrum? I can't recreate a long sleeve monster from a feather, uh, just as I can't recreate a monster from thin air. Might be able to uh, run an egg of that monster. If you're using cryomancy together with what I've discovered about shock hoppers' genes, I should be able to shock freeze an egg. A monster's egg and imprint the extinct monster genetic profile. Sounds logical, doesn't it? All I need is Dudo. Or is it Dodo? You need Lily Dodo, Final Horizon Beach. Very easy. Egg bomb. Alright. So, I'm going to forget. Because that's going to be a little while before I do that. So, I'm going to trust you guys when you see me finally go to the beach. Remind me of my mission there. Oh, that's too much. Go back down. Take it take this step at a time. I'm going a little bit ahead of myself here. I'm probably gonna forget to go back down here if I don't do this now. Start at the bottom. So they are weak to air and water. Hot fire. A lot to move the tears. Guys, right, so protect him. Focus him down. So he's dead. I don't really have to worry about him. Hmm. Gives the iron golem a much better tank. Thank you. 
Oh, this found a teleporter. Hell keeper, it's a little bit beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen ore pours as it's caving in fast waters. Maybe it'll switch to the brave in the water. Watch out, don't get too close for all you. I fall on, I'll tell you, deadly. Take a swim, that's Roger. There's some mighty warm clothes. Legendary clothes master, they're going you with something. I'll use some ice water when you like. Just climb up to the mountain. Doo -doo. Who can move stuff? You? No. I know I had somebody who can move stuff. At a loss for who it was. You. Alright. Huh? What the heck is this thing? Alright. Not burning it? Nope. Alright, well. Back up like I was doing before. Oh, those things just came running at me. I don't know what they are, but they are pretty cool looking. Looks like we're gonna have you more resistant. And then hmm, you Jewess. Let's try this. This is gonna be doing some serious damage to him. You just keep protecting him. Then I think you'll be in a good situation.
was ruined here. Let's start going down this line just to get chain lightning. Keep up with your claws because we your bread and butter. This time we can actually pop some more level badges. Let's go magic up. We'll take the toxic slam because that we don't have any special thing, any poison for him yet. So toxic slam looks like it'll probably do good, and then we can get some blessed strikes going, and we'll have all kinds of different powers. I was gonna say he would have died if he didn't do that, but. Since he did do it, they might actually survive. Heck yeah. With a huge bonus. Focus on him because the other guy does have burn on him. I'm gonna choose to believe they're both gonna die this time. Sure now. And focus on this cat.
No. Oh, they aren't nice. Oh, they are nice. This is going to be a better team now because the fact that um, a lot of these guys are weak to just generic melee, dam like physical damage just in general, and my boy back here is all about that physical damage. He does have some water type damage that we can use on the snail. I want a full health. Let's see if we can get lucky. Yep. Pure burst on the snail. I'm gonna call the snail dying. of the snail dying from a uh, burn, like I'm getting burned again. Hey, we got both of the eggs. Ooh. Go ahead and start giving you the ability to buff people. Let's go ahead and do that. It will probably be very useful for you. You get those blessed strikes finally. Interesting people here. Let's just kind of level you up and see what you look like being leveled up as a tank.
definitely has some very nice support abilities. use you on the team over the Crackle Knight finally. Crackle Knight I kind of feel like he's kind of lagging behind in terms compared to the Steam Golem. Transfusion is really cool too, though. We could get overcast again, though. I think we'll go for transfusion. Because transfusion seems really good, so we'll probably just make a beeline for transfusion. Alright, but I think that'll about cover it for today. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Watchtime Boba. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've been recording. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you all join me next time. Goodbye.